welcome back to Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner Canna Campbell. A very quick reminder to make sure you're following me on my normal everyday Instagram account at Canna Campbell Official because I'm creating so much more content here capsule wardrobe reels, um, beauty videos, work life balance hacks, motherhood, and of course, minimalism. So please make sure you are following me on my Instagram account at Canna Campbell Official. All right, today's video is a capsule wardrobe video. I'm really excited about showing you how I put all the outfits together and how I maximize my wardrobe without blowing my budget. Now, these 10 key pieces have all been fantastic returns on investment. They've all been budget friendly in that I've got, you know, a great um, cost per wear. Uh, they have been incredibly versatile with all the pieces in my wardrobe. And I really enjoy putting these pieces on. I feel comfortable, I feel confident, I feel chic, and I feel like a million dollars without spending a million dollars. Now this video is proudly sponsored by Lily Silk. I have done quite a few videos with Lily Silk and I always love working with them because their pieces really match my philosophy about being budget friendly, being really well made, standing the test of time, and the cuts of course being completely classic and timeless. You get absolute maximum wear out of each key piece and they feel incredibly soft, particularly their cashmere range. So this video is proudly sponsored by Lily Silk. Thank you very much, Lily Silk. All right, so I'm gonna share with you these 10 key pieces. As I said, these 10 key pieces have been brilliant returns on investment. They feel comfortable to wear, and they work with so many different pieces within my wardrobe. But for this video, I'm with you. I'm getting so excited. I'm getting all my words uh, stuck together and starting to stutter. But with these 10 pieces that I'm sharing with you, I'm gonna show them you how I've styled them and I wear them together to help create as many looks as possible without owning heaps of items. I am a minimalist at heart. I actually don't like owning lots of clothes. In fact, I would like to own less clothes. However, I think at the heart of every single minimalist, you're always wanting to, to own less and have less. So just doing that upfront disclosure with you. All right, let's get started. All right, my number one um, best investment has been a beautiful black bag. Now, you don't have to go and spend an absolute fortune on handbags. Um, this handbag, for example, is actually from uh, the pre-loved economy. I bought it about eight or nine years old. And in fact, this handbag has gone up in value because Chanel have put their um, prices up. Now, I'm not recommending you necessarily go out and buy a Chanel handbag. Buy what you obviously love, value, use and appreciate and is within your budget. But when you do go and buy a good quality handbag, make sure it's really well made and look for the details, look for the workmanship and make sure it's versatile. So the reason why I chose this bag, um, and this is it was one of my first most expensive investments and handbags are not investments by the way, and that is because it's just so timeless. The great thing about this is it has um, hardware, metallic hardware, which means I can wear it daytime and transcends into nighttime elegantly. I can play around with the strap size. I can wear it over my shoulder. I can wear it across my body. I can tuck the straps in and use it as a clutch or I can use a ribbon inside to tighten the handle and make it like a, almost like a, a Kelly handbag without having to go and buy a Kelly handbag. Uh, the details of this bag are beautiful, like the crisscrossing just gives it that extra t texture that can really elevate and give an outfit a really luxe look. And I take really good care of my bags. I don't leave them on the floor. I'm super careful about the corners so that they don't get scuffed. I, you know, if I'm going to invest in a beautiful handbag, I'm going to make sure it stays in immaculate condition and stands the test of time. Now, I bought this handbag, as I said, about eight or nine years ago, so I don't, and it was pre love so I don't actually know how old this bag is, but I expect this bag uh, to last at least another eight or nine years, and I expect it to stay in style. Otherwise, I'm not going to buy it. All right, item number two, and that is a classic pair of jeans. Now, jeans are very personal. Some people like the boyfriend cut, um, some people like a straight leg, some people like a skinny. It's completely up to you. But the thing is, you don't have to go and spend an absolute fortune on jeans. However, I recommend having just a couple of jeans that you absolutely love. I, I'm not someone who likes owning heaps and heaps of jeans, like seeing a pile of like, 
20 pairs of je blue denim jeans all in very similar shades makes me feel a little bit nauseous. I just like to own a couple. I've got white ones, black ones, and I think two or three colors in various blues, like dark blue, light blue, and like a medium blue like these. So these are Levi's. These are not expensive at all. These are a skinny cut, which I can actually wear in a really um, versatile way. I can roll them up. I can just wear them long with a pair of um, beautiful high heels. These ones are actually high-waisted um, and they're incredibly comfortable. And, and being high-waisted, it works really well with tucking items in, um, especially as we get into the colder months where there's a bit of a breeze. It keeps me nice and warm and toasty. But a really classic color. This shade of blue is fantastic in that it goes looks fantastic with whites and creams and beiges but then it's not too light where it looks too harsh and contrasting with like something like a black uh, jumper or a black trench coat but if, having a fantastic pair of jeans that you feel that feel great and take your time buying jeans try lots on don't feel any pressure to buy anything make sure you only buy as i say what you love value use and appreciate all right item number three and i'm actually going to show you three and four together and that is good quality cashmere jumpers particularly in light colors these are such if you want to create a really luxurious uh, look and feel um, go with something light try and avoid um, if you're looking for that elevated expensive look try and avoid bright colors in my suggestion I've been really studying this for quite some time and I just it really catches my eye when someone's wearing a, a lot of neutrals so these two beautiful pieces are from Lily Silk they are so soft they're so comfortable they're really classic cuts a v-neck now I wear this just by itself with nothing on underneath obviously other than a bra um, and then a beautiful delicate piece of jewelry. I can wear this in the daytime or at nighttime with a beautiful pair of black pants, even leather pants and, you know, some classic high heels and my handbag. But this is just, these are fantastic. And the thing about cashmere, it always feels incredibly soft against your skin and it always feels um, incredibly warm and comfortable. It breathes really well and keeps you warm, particularly in the colder months. This other jumper, which I absolutely love, um, again, Lily Silk. Now this is um, high neck without actually cutting off the circulation. There's nothing worse than seeing a beautiful jumper which is covered in makeup. This cuts you off just here, which is absolutely perfect. Um, I will wear this with a classic pair of earrings, no jewelry, um, and it just, again, with some black pants or my blue uh, denim jeans, which you will see in a second. And it just feels so incredibly comfortable, feels luxurious, and I absolutely love this piece. You can roll up the sleeves, you know, to push them up. Um, it's just a timeless piece and I can throw over a trench coat or a coat and it just really again elevates my look. I really think investing in cashmere is a well worth investment. But of course, take care of your pieces, wash them the right way. And a little hack, if you ever shrink any of your knitwear, just put it in warm water with conditioner for a couple of hours, stretch it out and it will actually stretch back into place. All right, another fantastic classic piece from Lily Silk has been, you've, can, you've like this top that I'm wearing right now, which is Lily Silk, and this this has been a fantastic piece. Now this is actually the, from their cotton collection, so it's not a cotton silk collection actually. It's not um, cashmere, but a trans-seasonal piece. I wear this in spring, summer, autumn, and winter. It's quite a slim fit. I love if I'm feeling a little bit bloated, it pulls me in in all the right places. Uh, again, I can tuck it in, I can wear it over jeans. It's timeless, it's classic. This is a fantastic piece, and of course, don't forget, there is a discount code for everyone watching this video if you'd like to check out the Lily Silk website. So really classic key pieces. All right, next up, good pair of black pants. Now, I bought these pants when Rocco was a newborn baby. So they are almost eight years old. They are from Basic. Now, at the time, these were really expensive. They were $360. And they are a drawstring pant, so they're a little bit like a tracksuit pant. But I'll tell you what, I've got, I'm actually wearing the matching cream color now. These have been brilliant. I reckon I've worn these more than 360 times. And they have gone through the wash a gazillion times. They've not lost their color. Um, they are so incredibly comfortable. And again, I dress them up and drown. They're versatile, they're comfortable. I wear them with a high heel. I wear them with a ballet flat. I wear them with a sneaker. I can wear them at daytime, I can wear them at nighttime. And they, I've worn them through um, all three pregnancies, uh, which they're fantastic. And again, a good pair of 
black pants, like a pair of jeans, take your time buying them, don't feel pressured, don't feel rushed, and buy a cut that you really like. Don't feel obliged or pressured to buy skinny because it's in fashion or uh, to buy a tailored pant because it's in fashion. Buy what suits your body type and makes you feel good. It makes you feel confident. Otherwise, it's a waste of money. All right, next up is a trench coat. Now, I would love to wear my trench coats more often. Um, I need to actually make a conscious point of them because they're so classic and they really do just add a whole other luxurious feel to your outfit. Now, this trench coat is actually from Lily Silk. It's silk. This is what I love about these is it actually, because it's silk, it actually just floats and feels soft and elegant and gracious. I do love a structured trench, don't get me wrong, but there's, I think this is a fantastic piece because it has that soft, feminine, elegant feel rather than being harsh and aggressive. So really well made. Now, one little hack which I love to do is I love to change the belt around. You don't necessarily have to wear the belt that comes with the trench. You can actually get like a beautiful metallic belt or just a simple black leather belt. Um, I actually have a pre-loved Hermes belt, which I'm going to show you how I style it all together. And the great thing about this is, yes, it is a coat, but it's also a beautiful dress as well. And uh, you can wear it over some shorts, you can wear it with a skirt, you can wear it with some pants. Or you can wear it with nothing underneath if you really want. But I just, it's such a pretty piece, so feminine and so incredibly versatile. This, a trench coat will never go out of style. Next up is a beige colored coat. Now, this is from Piper, which is from the Maya collection. Um, uh, really reasonably priced, just like the Lily Silk stuff. And um, all I have done is so classic. This actually was inspired by Paula Joy. I rolled up the sleeves. This color will get you through so many seasons. It will go with everything in your wardrobe. It's not too light. It's not too dark. It goes with black. It goes with cream. It goes with blue. It goes with white. It is just such a fantastic piece. And the cut is timeless. It's oversized, yet still feminine. And to play around with it, as I said, roll the sleeves up, flick the collar up, flip it down, wear it in a whole different type of way. But a really classic piece that's going to get you through autumn and winter every single day. This has been, this is, and it's also really soft and smooth, which I, you know, having, if I'm going to buy something and it feels rough against my skin, it's useless because I will never feel inspired or, you know, feel that reach to put it on and grab it. I always think, oh no, it will itch me. I won't wear it today. And I'll do that throughout the season. It end up being a waste of money. These pieces are all incredibly soft to touch. And the 10th piece that I'm sharing with you is ballet flats. Now, these are pre-loved Chanel ballet flats. I always get asked this so many times on my Instagram account, where do I get my ballet flats from? Now, Chanel ballet flats have gone up. They're now like $1,100, but I just can't justify paying that much for a pair of ballet flats because they do wear out. They do get like, you know, I hit the pavement hard with these. So I, whenever I find a beautiful color on eBay or high end or any of the consignment stores in my size, it's been a really classic color. I will snap them up. You can buy them at, you know, sort of 70% off. I think I paid about $300 for these. Really classic color. They're incredibly comfortable of these. Just sort of show the right amount of toe cleavage without too much. Um, really pretty. The, the heel is not too dominant and aggressive. Feminine, like a true ballet style shoe and again this color I said just goes with absolutely everything now as you would have seen how I've styled all these 10 pieces to create as many looks as possible I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this video of course if you're going to buy something for yourself make sure you've really thought about it before you go and invest make sure you look for quality pieces rather than quantity pieces make sure that they're really well made you want your pieces to stand the test of time you want to also make sure that they're classic colors that they work with all the existing pieces within your wardrobe so playing it safe by staying with the neutral colors is always going to help you get the maximum wear out of your investment pieces and of course always try and incorporate classic pieces in your wardrobe because they're beautiful pieces that should stay in your wardrobe they'll help define and elevate your own signature style and of course give you that high-end luxe feel and look without breaking the bank. Now it goes without saying, any outfit can be perfected and finished off with the perfect final touch with a beautiful pair of sunglasses. So make sure you find a pair of sunglasses that you absolutely love, really suit your face shape and of course your style. For me, it's gotta be a classic pair of black 
cat eye sunglasses. You don't necessarily need to pay a fortune for them, just make sure you love them and of course they are well made. All right, everyone, that is it for this video. Make sure you check in the video description box all the Lily Silk items. And of course, feel free to use those discount codes and share those discount codes with your friends. And I will see you later in the week for more financially inspiring, motivating, and encouraging content. Ciao for now.